So we're gonna fast forward a little bit into Roger Moore years. Not a whole lot of signature cocktails, but there's a great one in Live and Let Die. We're gonna make a Sazerac. So Bond and Lighter are sitting in the Filet of Soul. James Bond orders a bourbon with no ice. Lighter grabs the waiter and he says, two Sazeracs. He turns to James Bond and he says, hey James, lighten up a little bit. We're in New Orleans. To which I say, yeah, lighten up a little bit. Let's get to some local drinks again. And there's, there's not no better no better example than a Sazerac. Now I've experimented with the Sazerac before. I think I finally got the original recipe right. Just a splash of simple syrup. I'm gonna throw in three or four dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Now these are very hard to find, but thanks to the internet, you can find these now. You can order them. One, two, three, four dashes of bitters. Now I'm going to do two ounces of rye whiskey. Now rye whiskey is getting very difficult to find. Go to a store and ask for rye whiskey. You'll see walls and walls of bourbon, walls and walls of scotch. Rye somehow has been is, is very tricky now to find. But you don't want to use bourbon, and the reason is because bourbon is a sweeter brandy. I'm going to dump my ice, and then I'm going to take this Pernod, which is used to be an absinthe substitute, but now that absinthe is legal again, it's just absinthe. Now I'm actually going to take this and kind of roll this and just sort of line my glass with it. What sticks is what I want, and I'm going to dump the rest. Now I'm going to stir this versus shaking it. I don't want to aerate it, I just want to cool it. So I'm going to give it a stir. And once I feel it's cold on the side, I'm going to drop that into the glass. And there is my sazerac. I'm just going to hand it off to my next one. <laughs> So now we're going to fast forward a little bit to the bras and years. We're going to go to Die Another Day and we're going to make that great signature cocktail, the mojito. So let's make a mojito. I'm going to start by filling my glass with ice. So let's make a mojito. First thing we're going to do is grab a couple mint leaves and drop them into the glass. Also going to throw in some simple syrup. Not a whole lot. And again, the best thing about fresh ingredients, you can sweeten it more later if you want to. We're also going to take about half a lime. Now I usually take half a lime. Now I'm going to take my muddler and I'm going to muddle. And again, don't need to kill the mint, don't need to kill the mint leaves. You just want to be able to smell them. When it becomes aromatic, you're probably finished. I also want to crush my lime wedges until they are juiced. Okay, now when that's done, I'm going to fill my glass with ice. I'm going to grab my rum and about two shots of rum. Now I'm using white rum, which is a good standard. If you want to experiment with darker rums, again, tastes great. I've had some great mojitos with darker rum, so experiment with whatever you like. Once I'm done there, I'm going to top it with my club soda. I'm going to give that just a little stir. You can't shake soda, obviously. So I'm just going to give a little stir to kind of get the flavors all together. Give that a little garnish, and there is my mojito. And my victim is going to get my perfect mojito. How is it? So good. You could learn to like it? I don't have to learn, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Which of course brings us to the signature cocktail of James Bond. When Casino Royale came out and he ordered that Vesper Martini, just like the book, I just went nuts. So let's make a Vesper Martini. Now I'm going to prep this martini a little bit different. Since he specifies measures, I'm going to do this in measures. I don't need to ice this yet. 
So now I'm going to do three measures of Gordon's. Right into my uniced prep glass. One measure of vodka, and I'm going to stick with my old school Stoli. And half a measure of King Lily. Now, shake it over rice. Gonna dump out my ice. Garnish it or just drop it in. It doesn't film. And there is my Vesper Martini. Pass it along to my next victim. Now, since it's being James Bond meets James Bond lifestyle, I kind of want to do something a little bit extra. We're going to create our own drink today. We're going to create what I call a solange. So let's put it, let's put together a solange. Now, I'll tell you how the story goes. I was working in a bar just last summer, and a woman came in, very pretty woman, and she asked me, do you carry Lillet? Now, this was the first time anyone has ever asked me if we carry Lillet in the bar before. Unfortunately, we did not. So I said, no, we, we don't. Of course, I almost proposed to her just for asking. But... I, so once I said we didn't carry that, she said, well, do you carry St. Germain? And I said, yes, we do. Now, St. Germain, this is sort of brand new to me. I picked this up. Okay, so we're going to use three measures of Bombay Sapphire. Great quality gin, very smooth. If I'm drinking a gin martini, I usually ask for a Bombay Sapphire martini. So three measures of Bombay Sapphire. One measure of Grey Goose. And again, the name of the game with this one is Smoothness. Grey Goose is a great, smooth, high quality vodka. So one measure of Grey Goose. And half a measure of Saint Germain. Okay, gonna ice down my tin, pour it. Inside, cover it, give it a shake. Don't dash with my glass, and we're gonna pour this. And I'm gonna drop it right inside. There you have a Solange Martini. Thank you, Chad. She's still above the table. <laughs> That's really nice and good. The Saint Germain, the floral notes to it is really good. Okay, you are officially off the clock. Thank you, sir. Well deserved. Thank you. I might say. I want to thank Joe Darlington, Master Bartender, for showing us all these incredible drinks. Um, this has been David Zaritsky for James Bond Lifestyle Video Podcast. And Joe Darlington from the Being James Bond Podcast. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Yeah. And now we got to get back to the real business again.